Hey everybody, sorry it's been a while since you've seen me. Uh, I get lulls just like you do as far as what should I cook. Um, I'm always like I know what meat I want to cook but for, for what vegetables we always kind of get in the rut of the same eating the same vegetables so I'm trying really hard to cook some different things right now and I remembered my grandma's old uh, summer squash yellow squash casserole so that's what I'm making tonight with our dinner um, so basically I've already sliced the squash up and what I did the yellow squash I cut it in medallions and thin and then I cut it in, in half and then in, in quarters just really quickly so they're all thin so they, th this is about two pounds of squash and it's um, it was about four four squash pieces of squash but it's uh, two pounds and then uh, this is about half of a cup of, of yellow onions sliced thinly and, and, um, and then cut those in half too and you can dice them if you like I like them sliced thin like that so I've got them in this bowl and then I'm going to make the mixture that's going to go on them and basically it is one egg it's really easy it's one egg it is one half a cup of mayonnaise and my favorite is Duke's but you use your favorite if you haven't tried Duke's you need to try it. I'm not a mayonnaise person, but I do love this mayonnaise. And then half a cup of sour cream. And you could, if you don't want to do the sour cream, you can do a whole cup of mayonnaise. I like to add a little sour cream to it. And then we have, I'm using cream of onion soup. You can use cream of onion, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. I just thought since we're already putting onion in it, and I'm keep keeping it as a vegetable dish. I'm doing cream of onion. A whole can of it. And then we're going to add a cup of, of um, cheddar cheese. And then you can use the, the I can't say it, the Greer, Greer cheese. Or if you want it to have a little more uh, punch to it, you can use different kinds of cheeses. This is a sharp cheddar cheese. So now I'm going to mix this all up. Actually, I'm going to add salt and pepper. And I want to show you my little salt and pepper that my friend Cheryl gave me. Because she knows I love to cook. This is so fun. Now this is Himalayan salt in it. So I'm going to put that. And then this is pepper. And I just, you know, where I, it looks good. Probably about a half a teaspoon of meat. Aren't those fun? That makes cooking fun. Now I'm mixing this all up with the egg and everything, getting it all mixed in. It is getting there. Now I'm going to pour it on top of this and mix that in. mix this in as slowly you just kind of fold it in so it's all covered I'm getting it on my fingers get all that back in there <clears throat> we're gonna put it in a casserole dish so it's gonna get mixed up a little more this is gonna be so yummy it's just another way to eat squash and I think of squash in the fall. I know I called it summer squash casserole, but when I eat squash, I usually eat it in the fall, and that's what I think of is is the is fall. And it's getting time for pumpkins and all that good stuff. We're real close to the first day of fall. Okay, that looks really good mixed in. So now I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So now here comes the fun part. We're gonna add. You add two sleeves of Ritz crackers and we have to crunch them up. So I'm gonna put them in a baggie. Now you can like just keep them in the sleeve and roll them out with a rolling pin if you want, but I'm gonna put them in this and I'm gonna hit them with the meat with the meat uh, tenderizer to crunch them up. This really doesn't take a whole lot of time to do and it's really easy. 
and it's really good. And actually, with fall coming up, I mean, start thinking of the holidays, Thanksgiving and stuff. This is a good, great Thanksgiving dish to bring if you have to bring a dish because it's easy to make and everybody loves it. So I'm going to crunch do this. And now for the fun part. Just crunch them up. Did your grandmother used to make this this recipe? My grandma had so many good recipes. I wish I had paid more attention to her when she was cooking. I think I've got them all here. Look around and see. There's a couple big ones in there. They look pretty crunched up. So now, I have melted a full stick of butter that I am putting in here to mix to soften up the crackers. And that's a full stick melted. I melted it in the microwave about, and I, I put it on a minute and then just kept checking it. So it was melted and not too. So we're gonna we want the crackers to be soft. And actually, this is not what my grandma did, but I'm gonna do this. For more, Cause we added a cup of cheese, but I wanna add a little more cheese. So I'm adding some Parmesan to this to mix in. And probably about, and I just guessed, but half a cup to a cup, whatever you like. Just getting more cheese flavor in it. Probably could have done more, but that's all I'm gonna do. Because I love Parmesan cheese. Okay, so now we're going to put this in this bowl and we're going to mix them in. See, there's a, well, that got, it's clumped up because the, doesn't this look yummy? Now, because I have kind of a too small of a bowl, I should have did a bigger bowl, but. We're going to mix this in with these as much as I can without making a mess. I would suggest using a bigger bowl than I just used. This is going to be so yummy. And you could add other seasonings to it to kind of make it your own flair. You could add some paprika to it. Paprika would be really good. And even some garlic seasoning. I don't know. I probably wouldn't add garlic, but paprika sounds really good to add to it. In fact, I may go ahead and do that. See how mixed in that is? And we, when I turn it over in that bowl, it's gonna mix up more. Cause I can, Get in there and mix it around. So I'm gonna pour it, and this is my casserole dish. I didn't butter it or anything. I didn't. I'm just putting it straight in. Okay. The only thing I'm seeing that didn't get totally mixed up was some of my mayonnaise and some, some of that mixture didn't just kind of still clumped up in there. And that's okay because it all when it cooks, it move. You know, it melts into it. So look at this, doesn't this look yummy? So what I'm going to do is put foil on it and I'm gonna cook it for 350 for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take the foil off and cook it for about 20 minutes longer. You just want it bubbly and that extra 20 minutes makes it brown. So that's what you're looking for is the brown and bubbly. I saw a cracker that wasn't crunched up, that's okay. Okay, and that's basically it. I'll let you know when it comes out. I hope you enjoy this, and I'm excited to eat my grandma's yellow casserole. Okay, so 30 minutes with foil on, 20 to 30 minutes with it off to get the brown, which it's all bubbly, so I know it's all ready and done. And this is my grandma's squash, yellow squash casserole. I can't wait to eat it. 
you need to do this. This is going to be a great recipe and easy for your uh, Thanksgiving when you have to bring a meal or just like on a regular night when you can't figure out what to eat. It's an easy one to do. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like it because I really need your support to keep on going and I love doing these recipes for you. And I'm getting out of this hole of thinking about what to eat for dinner and I'm going to have some more wonderful easy recipes for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.